Thank you so much for watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. We appreciate getting to have time with you. You know, some of us, our love language is acts of service. Some of us like gifts. But time, time is a love language. And your time and our time together is an expression, a continuation of God loving us. So thank you for your time. I just want to thank our partners as well. Thank you for being generous with us, for praying, helping us to cover the earth with the word. And here's an encouraging testimony. I heard this recently and it was really powerful. There was a mom who was struggling because her twin daughters had been at odds and they had been kind of biting and devouring each other. Huge separation and chasm in the family and it had been going on for years and years and years. The mom was praying and staying consistent and steady with God. And absolutely, there was a breakthrough in the family to where these twin daughters came back together, talked and worked through stuff and had a tremendous reconciliation. So if you're struggling with any needs in your family, we would love to pray for you. We know that God can reconcile, God can redeem, can repair, and absolutely bring back together families that have been separated and split apart. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you and see God do amazing things in your life. And mom, we have a really cool oh, guest we today. Do. Tell us about His our guest. His name is Leif Hetman. Did I say it right? Leif Hetland, that's right. Yeah, and that's a very famous name from Norway. Oh. You know, and has an effect on the whole world, really. And he has a book called To Rain. It is just outstanding. And you know, I like to read things all the time that provoke me, encourage me, push me, and that I can share. And I think this book, Call to Rain, I want to share with others. And I believe it's very important for you to watch this today and let God put you in the place of reigning and not being on your face all the time. I don't have a safe place to sleep on. I am scared. I don't have enough nutrition. I might starve. I live where there are little resources. I don't have a safe place to deliver my baby. We live in a war zone. And then saving Moses. Saving Moses gives me a safe place to sleep at night. Saving Moses gave me the therapeutic milk I need to thrive. Saving Moses provided someone to help me deliver my baby safely. Welcome to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. I am so excited to welcome you and introduce you to our cool guest. His name is Leif Hetland. Leif is from Norway and he is an amazing man full of Holy Spirit, overflowing with love. And Leif has written a book called, this is the name of the book, Called to Rain. And he just told us this totally cool, amazing testimony from this book, Leif. And I was, as I was listening, I'm like, oh, I want you to tell our audience this yeah. testimony because it's so powerful what God can do when we step into who God's made us to be. Yeah. Now, it's a, it's a very beautiful story because I think it's just an ordinary person. A person that had actually watched television and wow, then he saw and he, and he just looked it up and looked my name up because he had seen me on television and he saw this book. And then he decided to Google and he found another office or in Atlanta and he lived there. So he drove about 20 minutes, came to the office. I was not even there. And then uh, he bought the book, went home and read the book. And he got so changed. He had, uh, had bought, he got physically healed and healed from PTSD. Mm -hmm. But a transformation from inside out that was taking place just reading the book. And it has nothing to do with my book. The book just gives you the opportunity how to move away from, from trying to trusting, from achieving to receiving, these basic things. But he got so transformed by this love. The wife started to see the changes in his life and said, what's happening? And said, you need to read his book. The wife was reading and got changed. And this started revival at home. Later on, he came back to the office, bought a whole case of books. And then <laughs> in his workplace, one from Afghanistan wow. with a broken back, got totally healed just reading the book. One with opiates addiction got healed. Wow. And this thing just started to happen. Wow. 
So far, I think the last number we had was 246 of his friends had read a book and been oh, transformed. Wow. People have been saved, people have been healed, delivered. But a more important thing than any of these things, they are falling in love with a God that was so much in love with them. And that's what excites me. Mm -hmm. Some of them believed in God, but they didn't know God believes in them. You can be an evangelist with a book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so call in and get the books. Books, I notice, plural. One of the things you said, too, was that it, when after reading this and his wife read it, it changed their marriage. Tell us a little bit about how that looked. Yeah, well, it does because uh, the book is about three cheers. And, and if you read the book, you will follow that. Or you can go on YouTube and even see some of the videos. But the book, when, when he was changed, because suddenly he realized he had an A plus on his report card. When he started to see him the way that God sees him, and he started to be shifted, the changes in his life was changed. And then she started to have the same transformation. Mm -hmm. Where both of them have A plus, they started to treat each other with honor and respect. They saw greatness in one another because that's what God saw in them. So when you are living from insufficiency instead of sufficiency. Right. When you're living from measure yourself, you don't do enough, then your spouse don't do enough. And it's almost like having two ticks, but no dog. <laughs> it's just in a marriage. But what's happening is when you have, <laughs> when you have suddenly now, you have suddenly now a husband and a wife that both know this is yeah. who I am. When you know how valuable you yeah. are, that Jesus didn't die on the cross to make you valuable. He died on the cross because you are valuable. Right. And that is a totally different change. So when you realize the price he paid for you, then the value you start to show your spouse and the way you start to honor people when you realize how the father honors you and the way he's loved me the way I love you. And all of that mm -hmm. starts to flow from receiving and what you receive you become. And what you become is what you start to leak and release yeah. into your home, into your workplaces. And that's where the transformation is. I Rest, receive, become, release. Mm -hmm. Rest, receive, become, release. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> I know you want the book, so call in and get it. Call to Rain. Get five or six. Come on. I like books. They're missionaries. I pass them around. That's beautiful. Yeah. The other thing, too, if you're watching right now and you're struggling in your marriage, I just invite you to call. We want to pray for you in your marriage. Mm -hmm. um, whether you have been married, you're separated, whatever, there's, you know, turmoil. We want to pray for you to have a secure marriage, but more so we want to pray as well that you settle into the identity who God has made you to be. Because once we settle into that, then stuff starts to fall into place a little bit better inside of us so we can walk out what we want on the outside. The other thing, too, that you talk about in this book a lot is the performance, kind of the performance trap. Yeah. And, and what, is that, what did that look into. like for you? No, I, I, I think, first of all, I'm wired for performance. I get my value system on performance. And I didn't realize that, uh, I think it's one illustration that I have on this, uh, because I was heading in to meet with some of the government official of the Philippines a few years ago. And I heard that, oh, the president's gonna be there, the governor of the central bank, all these people. And in the next moment, I have this pressure. Pressure, I feel like I need to do something. And when I realized that I'm not operating the way I'm supposed to, and I realized all the way there, but then God gave me a vision. And in the vision, I was playing basketball. And I realized this must be God because I don't know anything about basketball. <laughs> I'm a Norwegian. So if there was ski sport that God gave me, then I would understand. But in the vision, I was, I, the ball was thrown to me. The score was 87 to 89. And the enemy team was winning. And in a moment, I'm about to throw the ball. There's only a few seconds left. And then from the audience, I heard, hey, hey. And this man was standing up in the audience with beautiful beard. And he looked at me and said, that's my boy. That's my son, Leif. Woo -hoo. That's my son. Wow. That's my son, Leif. Oh, sweet. And when I looked into his eyes and he looked at me, it was Papa. Mm. And it didn't matter if I score or not score. It matters that my father is well pleased with me. Mm. And when I came to that meeting, I didn't live from pressure any longer but my father's pleasure. So when I stopped, and I feel this performance things. I try to be reminded first to look at the father's face. But you're going to score twice as much in life when you're playing from pleasure instead of pressure. Mm -hmm. 
And so for me personally speaking, I'm wired to feel I have to do something. And the value system, the world is getting affirmation. But when I'm getting my affirmation from Papa God and I'm hearing what he has to say about me, that is the truth. And that truth sets me free. Mm -hmm. Then I don't have to be pleasing to people and looking for love in the wrong places because I've received the love from Papa. Yeah. And that's, that's when I'm secure. I do so not good. live there always. And sometimes that orphan in me, I just... Mm -hmm. I just want that affirmation. Mm -hmm. But then I realize I'm not being with Jesus in a while. And Jesus always bring me back to Papa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might be watching right now and you might be struggling. You might be in this achievement trap and just trying to get, you know, the next uh, fix. It's like a, it's almost like a drug. You want to achieve, you know, so you feel good. Then you got to achieve some more. So you feel good some more. And Holy Spirit wants to interrupt and, and unravel that loop. It's an endless loop. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you, that you would have your identity and security resolved on the inside instead of the external performance. And when you do, of course, we want you to grab your copy of Called to Reign because this book will help you, as Leif talked about this testimony, will help transform the way you think, the way you see your perceptions, change it from the inside. And so much of what we need in our external behavior starts with an internal adjustment. And, and how do you see that kind of play out and some of that calibration internally? Do you see that on permanent or do you have to sometimes kind of whoop, do another reboot? You know, I constantly have to do reboot. I, I think it's I, one story just came to my mind. I was doing this prophetic conference in Bethel Reading and uh, the speaker before me is a very good friend, Sean Bowles. And Sean, has this, Sean, yeah. and Sean has this phenomenal gift and I love Sean. Yeah. But I mean, he was prophesying details over people and I'm going to be the next speaker. <laughs> and already inside myself, I started to want to compare or compete. And then somebody behind me says, Leif, you're going to have to follow that. Oh, great. And I'm like, and then what happens is you start to compare yourself yeah. to somebody else and you feel you have to perform. Mm -hmm. but because I remember my three chair message myself. Right before Bill Johnson uh, is going to introduce me, I stopped for a moment and I heard Papa God again. I found my security in love. And when I went up on the stage, I said, wow, that was my brother. This is my brother, Sean. When his stock went up, my stock went up because this is a family business. Yeah. And then from there, how can I add value to Sean and the people? And that became such a freedom for me. So this is a daily thing for me, just mm -hmm. being aware. Mm -hmm. So powerful. And it you is. Know, I just encourage you, hop on the phone, get on the website. So many times we do compare. Right, we look at, I'm not that one, or I'm better than this one, or I'm less than that one, and we get in that little trap, and we get in the performance achievement trap, we get in the comparison trap, and Holy Spirit is here to set you free, yeah. <laughs> free from the trap, that you're not controlled and in bondage to some of those perceptions and deceptions, because mm. really that's ultimately what's happening. The enemy is deceiving you. Jesus says it in John 8, that the na enemy's native language is deception. Yeah. So Holy Spirit is here to lead you into truth, and that means to lead you out of deception. Hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you that you would follow Holy Spirit in full truth and grab your copy of Called to Reign. Together, we are impacting thousands of lives with the truth, compassion, and power of God's Word. But there is still much more to be done. By becoming a partner with Marilyn Hickey Ministries, you'll share in bringing God's miracles and healing to the sick experiencing a deep love for the Bible and taking the gospel to the nations. When you become a $30 a month partner with Marilyn and Sarah, we'll send you our welcome gift package, which includes the Jehovah Rapha oil vial with oil prayed over by Marilyn and Sarah, our exclusive partner CD set, which includes six CDs featuring 12 never before released teachings, the Majesty coffee table book featuring beautiful representations of the names of God, and more. If you have a passion to reach the lost and are ready to release the anointing of God into your life, then join us today by becoming a partner. Call or click today and help Marilyn and Sarah cover the earth with the word. Do you find yourself working for rest instead of working from rest? For your gift of $35 or more, we will send you Leah Hetland's book, Call to Rain, Living and Loving from a Place of Rest. This book will help you experience everything God wants for you by finding a resting place for yourself and becoming a resting place for Him. It is an invitation into the fullness and abundance that empowers you to do what you were called to do, to reign with Him. 
the, it is not what you do that makes you who you are. It is who you are that makes you do what you do. We will also send you Sarah's book, Your Friendship with Holy Spirit, and Marilyn's book, Your Divine Destiny, along with our REST scripture card. For your gift of $65 or more, we will send you our Psalm 23 Nordic Fleece Blanket, which features seven names of God. Live a life of rest that refreshes and restores your soul. Call or click today for this empowering resource. Don't you love it when God keeps doing something in your life with the, some of the same teaching? I mean, I can go back to some early teaching in my life that every now and then God deals with me with it. And I'm glad. I don't want to waste anything. And today we have a guest that will help you not to waste anything in your life. And he has a book called To Reign. Reign over what? You know, yourself, your people, your family, your job. You will just love this interview. I mean, it'll turn you on. And I think the fact that he's Norwegian helps too <laughs> because we like the accent. <laughs> so with that, I introduce you with your accent but most of all with your truth mm -hmm. on call to reign. We all need this. There isn't anybody who can sit out there and say, oh, I don't need that. Yes, you do. Yeah, and part of the journey that I think that can be helpful for people, it's like for each chapter, it's like you can give people the, the prescription of the medication, but then we also give them practically speaking how to take that tablet so that you can get wholeness. So we have some declaration, we have some application. So revelation, impartation and activation to get transformation. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that's been very helpful for people because uh, what I love that is when we're finished and you got this revelation, what do I do with it? So what we do, we stop for a moment and we give people just simple things. And mm -hmm. it's amazing 10, 15 minutes, if they do some of those steps on a daily basis, it's gonna be amazing to see how their upgrade will be confirmed. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take long. No. You know, I think everybody thinks, oh, well, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. They're not that busy. No, not It'll that. work for them. <laughs> the other thing, too, is you have reflection questions. Yeah. And I think that's really important because it's, it's good to read stuff. And I said it earlier, I'm, I'm the slowest me reader <laughs> you will ever meet. But maybe it's because I also absorb and I kind of chew on stuff. Yeah. And it's important to reflect, to pause, to absorb, and to think about, mm -hmm. what am I reading? Yeah. What am I, what, what, and not only that, what's Holy Spirit saying to me? Mm. Because when I do that, and I think that's that pause and rest, mm. which is part of the, the message in this book is let's rest and let's move from a place of rest and identity and not just achieve. Yeah. So for yourself, when you find yourself in that achieve mode, um, do you feel, well, how does Holy Spirit get your attention to say, whoop, come on, Leif? Now, first of all, I, I do sense this restlessness on the inside. I feel like I need to lean forward instead of leaning back. I feel like I need to do something. Uh, I give a practical example during this COVID-19 when everything crashed, I kind of had a little shake. We've been all over the world and then I came home and the world stopped. It seems like we were locked up and, and I was there and I could just feel this. I, I felt that I, I'm not able to do anything. And I had all these events that I had to cancel. And I didn't realize that so much of my value system is still in what I'm doing. And after about two months, this incredible rest came in. But then I injured my rotator cuff and I just started to get in shape and I tore my rotator cuff and my bicep. And then I went through this process and God says, I'm gonna heal you. So I'm in there trying to help God with all of it. <laughs> and then eventually about two months, I did everything that I could, everything that I could. And then eventually I ended up with surgery. And it was painful. It was hard. And I was a little, I was whining. I was complaining to God and say, God, I have a little problem with you right now. Yeah. And he was like, <laughs> son, what's, what's the problem? Well, you promised me. I have prophecy. I have words that you're going to heal me. And he said, Leif, I don't do second class healings. So he said, if I chose a word of knowledge to heal you or somebody laid hands on you to heal you, you would be happy. I said, yes. And now I chose a surgeon that is trained in his gift to use this as a healing. But if I allowed the surgeon to be used in this, that means there's something better than if I didn't. Don't you know me? And I repented. Yeah. So after the surgery, there was all these things that took place in rest after the surgery where I couldn't do anything. But that's also when I received. 
And some things opened up and 18 nations was opened up. So if I had been healed before, I would have missed it being busy with something. Right. But now because that God that chose cool. a different way, <laughs> because he uses all things out for good. So that's a good example for me, practically speaking, that even sometimes God have to help me to help myself to enter into rest because I have a tendency again to lean forward. And he's teaching me the value of leaning back. Because when I'm leaning back, I'm beholding. And what I'm beholding, I'm becoming. And then eventually what I become, I lean forward and I get to release it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beholding and becoming. Yeah, what you behold, that. you become. Yeah. And what you become is what you release. We teach what we know, mm -hmm. but we reproduce who we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so powerful and you might be watching right now and maybe you need a physical healing <laughs> you're like hey man I relate to that shoulder <laughs> thing and we would love to pray for you hop on the phone get on the website and pray for healing for sure and grab your copy of Call to Rain because I think so much of what we do comes out of this misshapen identity and when we have those those enforced pause because yeah. I agree with you that COVID thing was tricky <laughs> it was very <laughs> super tricky when well, you're a high achiever, go, 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 in the country, 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 and, and then suddenly you're like, it's an abrupt can't do it, halt. Yeah. I mean, like from one day on, the next day off. Like that was a huge yeah. shift. It was. How did you navigate that in terms of your relationships at home? Well, I, I think to be honest, we almost had a crisis, both my wife and I, and we didn't realize. I mean, we had tension and arguments and almost fight and my wife almost wanted me to go hit the road again because both of us we but after about two months I enter into rest and I just surrendered and I just surrendered myself into this rest and just and it's also connected to trust that he is my provider he's my strength he's my joy he's everything and after about two months of surrendering I was able to start to receive what he had for me and that started to flow into Jennifer and our marriage. And we started to connect on a level we'd never been connected. And, mm. and we started to see renewal in our marriage, revival in our marriage, in our home. And, and it started to spread around. And now when we got to deeper rooted in love, so I often said you're rooted and grounded in love. Hey, <laughs> you're rooted. Your root system and your foundation is love. Yeah. And then you step into the ocean of love to experience the depth, the width, the length, and the height of that mm. love so that fullness can dwell in that. Mm. So... We just eventually, I realized during this COVID season, I could write a book about all the upgrades that I'm receiving because of COVID-19. Mm. And it's been one of the <laughs> toughest years, but it has also been where my roots has gone deeper into his love. And my relationship are stronger. And the wave that is going to touch the nation is going to go wider as a result. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really powerful. God is sneaky. He is Jehovah sneaky. <laughs> he is Jehovah sneaky. I mean, you think, oh, this is a flop. And then you see something come out of it and you think, oh my goodness, I never dreamed I'd get that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, to me, he's so amazing. He's more than bountiful. He's awesome. And I want you to get the book. You know, folks, you're not going to remember everything. And you're going to need this. Now, what I like to do with the book is underline special things because it helps me to keep it and to work it in my life. And this is an easy book to underline. So get one for yourself and get one for your friends. Get two or three and pass them on. And I like books because they work after you're gone. Yeah. I like to do them overseas because they work after I'm gone. I can't stay that long, but the books stay, and I put them in their language. So I think this is a very important book for you. Call to reign. Didn't say you weren't. Didn't say some are. It said you are called to reign. And for me to take authority over some things and not just let them go on, mm. that's very important. And frankly, some of this you know. But some of it you probably don't know. And so, and some of it you need to be reminded of. So I want you to call in. That is very important. And we're going to continue with this. And you're going to love every minute of it. But get your pen, get your paper, and get ready to take notes. Mm. Because, folks, there are things that you'll think, oh, I want to remember that. What was it? It was so good. Oh, I want to remember it. So I think it's very important that you take notes, that you get the book, 
and that you encourage other people to watch this program. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Pass it on. You know, I've been a pastor's wife for years. Pass it on. <laughs> it's just a big deal. And I love that, passing it on, because sometimes it comes much later, but it works. It is wonderful. Mm. I love it. And mom, you know, I know each person watching can connect in a very meaningful, personal way with Holy Spirit. Please hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you today. Do you find yourself working for rest instead of working from rest? For your gift of $35 or more, we will send you Leah Fetland's book, Call to Rain, Living and Loving from a Place of Rest. This book will help you experience everything God wants for you by finding a resting place for yourself and becoming a resting place for Him. It is an invitation into the fullness and abundance that empowers you to do what you were called to do, to reign with Him. It is not what you do that makes you who you are. It is who you are that makes you do what you do. We will also send you Sarah's book, Your Friendship with Holy Spirit, and Marilyn's book, Your Divine Destiny, along with our rest scripture card. For your gift of $65 or more, we will send you our Psalm 23 Nordic Fleece Blanket, which features seven names of God. Live a life of rest that refreshes and restores your soul. Call or click today for this empowering resource. Oh my goodness, we are so, so excited what God has ministered to you through this program. But Leif, I want you to pray for our audience, that they would really, really sit right. in the reality of who God has made them to be. Yeah, it would be my honor. And maybe if you're watching and perhaps you are tired, feel overwhelmed, some of you may be facing something bigger than yourself, sickness, finances, relationship. I don't know what you're going through, but I just sense the invitation is, he says, come, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden. I will give you rest. My burden is easy and my yoke is light. So Father, I just release, even at this very moment, the very peace, the very shalom of heaven, the peace of Jesus, the very presence of Jesus, the very provision of Jesus. I just invite the very invitation for Jesus at this moment to take you back to the Father, where you can climb up on Papa's lap, mm -hmm. hear his voice, see his face, feel his love, and just being overwhelmed by his presence. It changes everything. If you have his presence, you have everything. If you have everything and you don't have his presence, you have nothing. Mm -hmm. So take the invitation, mm -hmm. come home and find rest in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. That's Isn't that awesome. wonderful? Yeah. Rest, that's something we don't, Americans have a problem with. And we can have rest in him. So I'm so glad you're watching today because we're leaving you with rest. And I believe this is the best day of your life because Jesus Christ lives big in you today. Wow.